Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome back to this Let's Play Hearts Iron 4 as Australia. Where we might... Maybe we'll be at war soon. Uh, poor Free India. Um, it's at war with all the entire, entirety of the Allies. Don't think they're gonna succeed. Of course, India is kind of wedged between here, but... Uh, I think they're redeploying their troops to just eat free India. I don't think that's gonna help anyone in the north here. Yeah, the Russians are being pushed back. Moscow is about to fall. So it's gonna be a very democratic world. Uh, I'm gonna do that. That's gonna speed up the construction of uh, nuclear things. Um, come to think of it, I might actually need... a way to deploy these nukes. Um, scrap construction 5. To deploy nukes, I'm gonna need a strategic bomber, aren't I? Or is a tactical bomber sufficient? I don't know. Uh, better safe than sorry. Let's get a strategic bomber and build like three planes. Don't know how many planes I need. I mean, all I'm gonna do is just toss that little nuke somewhere. Probably in Central Australia, given that there aren't any factories here. And that is what the achievement calls for, right? Yeah, controls Istanbul. Oh, I could I didn't even, didn't know they've ad actually added this one. Don't think that was in there last time I played. Other than that, this is pretty much what we're gonna do, so... Straight in core territory, yeah. We'll be doing that. So... Why is this listed as available? How can I become Egypt? Huh. The other achievements, I don't think we're actually going to succeed much on any of them. Oh well. No matter, no matter at all. We don't have enough manpower to reinforce our troops here either, do we? No, well, they're just experienced troops. to finish October 8th, yeah. Oh, I completely forgot. The Omani one might ex actually expire, right? Expires June of 43. Ooh. Yeah, good thing I checked that. <laughs> um. Okay, um. It will expire now. So I have to go with this. right now. Okay. We are at war! Woohoo! Finally, volunteer transport forces are in transport back. Um, air rings with no mission. Oh yeah, um... Where the heck are you? Uh, I have to go click here then. There we go. Air superiority interception, no interception. Doesn't really matter. We have fun there. There we 
go. Set those up. Um, and we should be able to now at least pick the blasted focus. Thank goodness for that. And we're going to switch some laws. Can go extensive conscription at the very least. We're going to close our economy completely. Would have been fun if we could go total mobilization by declaring war on the man. But okay. Um, the rest of the stuff we don't have points for yet, so that's fine. And our volunteer forces are in transit. Go figure, they're already here, there, they're running around there. As expected. And we can't do jack shit until. Oh, what was it? October. Yeah, 8th of October. So by the time we can even declare war, they're gonna be dead. But we are at war with the mighty power of, of Oman. At least Oman didn't join the Allies. Free India is losing. Our volunteer forces have returned home, good for them. Um, let's see now. Let's spread them out a bit. Join the plan. And you guys just join this. And you can take charge of this group, would you please? Will you immediately, like, follow the plan? No. So I have to, like, manually tell you to go there, or...? Okay, fine. Stop the plan, start the plan. Will that make you move? won't. Why? Okay. So, let's see. You are stationed where? Ugh. Why doesn't the AI suddenly fix this? This irks me. So you have both of those, both of you should be assigned to the same darn order. Why aren't you? Uh. Click you and uh, let's see. Right click. There we go. Right click. So you are in a port. I want you to strategically deploy to another port. Could you like please do that? Like go to Port Moresby. Apparently not. Ugh. New strat redeploy from here to this port. Or not. I'm, I am right clicking like crazy. Why won't it work? Arrgh. Right click on the naval icon to transport you. Yeah. Okay, fine. Naval icon, where? Ah, okay, fine. So I have to actually click on the darn port. Okay. I got ya. Hmm. 
but that's impossible to do for here. Okay. Uh, strategically deploy to... Uh, there's a port down here. Can you actually, like... Isn't there? No. Okay. But you could go here. Click, 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 click. No. Okay, fine. Uh... Right click on the naval icon. Okay, where is the naval icon? Ah, so I can't click on the outer dock. I have to click exactly on the middle there, which is, ugh. Finicky, finicky, ugh. Blah. Yeah, I don't like that kind of interface. The whole naval transportation stuff, I, it really irks me. It really, if I click on another landmass, it should be automatically able to tell itself, go to port, go to the other port, go to the province he clicked on. Instead of having me to have, to manually set him to go to port, then remember that I sent them there, then move to the other one, then remember that I got there, then move them on, because I can't queue the orders either. Err! Interface. Terrible, terrible, terrible interface. Or even better, uh, when I, once I deploy more troops to the people here, I don't shouldn't have to redraw the, all the orders for them to understand that they can move these troops there and Position them and all that kind of fun stuff. Poland refuses German. Alt what? Did you go Danzig or war? <laughs> Did you go Danzig or war? Seriously? Yeah. They <laughs> oh my! Just when I thought this couldn't get any more messy. Uh. And that's with all the allies positioned all around Poland. <laughs> oh my word, look at this. Yeah. <laughs> the world burns and the United States still hasn't done anything. At least we're only fighting powerful Oman. So. And all our troops are now in position. Not that it matters because they've lost everything already. There goes Warsaw. There goes Warsaw. Really? <laughs> because you had some troops marching through there. Um. Oh boy. Maybe, just maybe, uh, they had a breather there. Field hospitals, we need them. Yeah, by the time I can declare war here, they're gonna have lost everything. And now Germany wants to push. Yeah. Hey, finally the Indonesian order did something here. I kept waiting for them. Why aren't you naval invading over there? And he just refused. Now he finally did it. Ugh. Meanwhile, the Allies are gonna go to war with Luxembourg. <laughs> You'd think that being democratic, this would actually stop <laughs> uh, Germany's desire for war, but apparently not. Nobody's gonna attack Oman, so or drag them in, so I think we're gonna be safe there. Finally, invest in victory. And we're gonna go straight for the research slot. There. And we'll see if we can maybe swing a war here. Germany is now at war with the Netherlands. Does that mean you are at war with Germany? No. Since you're in a civil war, most likely. Uh, 
Go Germany. I think Germany is going to be eaten a second time. <laughs> Unless the Allies saves this new version of Germany. Meanwhile, I don't know. I don't know. They, uh, they, I don't understand. It might be simply because I'm playing with a historical focus that they turn off the AI. Yeah. The AI's ability to like think, but uh, I don't know. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? Okay. So the axis is suddenly back. <laughs> the Asia Confederacy. Oh gosh, Bob, darn it. So you decide to allies. Uh. Well then, is this your faction? No, it's. It is Indonesia's faction. Seriously? Seriously? You went neutrality focus, you bastard. And all of a sudden you. Err. Yeah, well, I'm gonna kill you anyway. Can't deal with Spain, but I'm definitely gonna kill you regardless. Okay, Hunter Pike, for Halifax, we have a strategic bomber. Uh, da, 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 da. My goodness. Let's try to build the reactors a bit faster. Um, speaking of building, we are gonna set. We are gonna need. Strat bomber factory. We actually have quite a bit of extra artillery now. If we go to the war with Spain, at the very least we'll have uh, the chance to switch um, the laws. Because you'll definitely be stronger than us. But I have to complete that focus too, okay. Boo. Free India I got annexed. Yeah, that's pretty much what we expected. Now we have an actual India. Who is still a colony. Oh, they're a puppet. So they're even less than a colony now. Oh dear. As for Germany, they are fighting the fun wars. Did you bring the allies in on... Yes, you did. Free and democratic Germany decides I need to kill everybody else. I have the focus for it. I think I think they need to switch that focus. If, if Germany is no longer fascist, those focus can't be... Those focus can't be used unless these other states are communist or fascist. Something like that. This is just too stu stupid. That's almost as stupid as the AI declaring wars they can't possibly win. And But again, I assume that they turn that any kind of decision making for that off when you switch, when you play with a historical focus. I don't know. I'd like to think that Paradox actually thinks this through, but uh, I'm certainly not... I'm not sure anymore. 
It just looks so incredibly stupid when you just observe. Oh well. So, how grateful Poland be? That's the question. Oh, Yugoslavia actually joined. Rationing and recycling is done. Um, can I even get here? Oh, um... Where is that fight? There it is. So I need this focus. Hell with it, let's plow for this focus. I want the achievement. We're gonna get scraping the barrel, I think. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get that. <laughs> By being at war with nationalist Spain. They should be way stronger than us. Oh yeah. They could crush us completely. And... Did the war goal stop? Wait a second. Why did this stop? Oh, because they no longer control the state. Oh, for... Grrr. Okay. Um, West Papua, then. Well, Grumble. Uh, March of 44. Um, oh, well. Well, the looks of things, he has gotten expeditionary forces from Spain. China and Japan are still stalemating. Oh, you're doing a continual focus on air production, right. That's what you're doing. You are trying to defeat Mega Poland. You are... <laughs> you sent volunteers. Okay, you sent volunteers to Belgium. Poor Poland. They were doing so well here and then all of a sudden... <laughs> I wonder what happens if we somehow manage to influence them back to fascism. Not, not that I'm gonna, no, we're not gonna try. No, I don't think so. As for these, we just have, yeah, we can, might as well keep doing the support logistics. Uh, it is 44. Oh, it's still 43 actually, okay. Um, grab the stuff we actually have some bonuses for. I mean, we have really backwards research. Gotta thank Oman for at least bring, getting us to war. I don't think they can actually do anything with us, so... Right, touch us. Um... Okay, you took two states and put Democrats in power. And what else? What about your puppet? It's still your puppet. And the puppet is now at war. Wait, what? And now you're at war with the Soviets because you are... What? Why did you suddenly join the Allies? Did you become a puppet state? Of someone else. No, well, we did join that their side. And um, that means you're at war with the Soviets. Uh, what about, but your puppet is still at war with everybody else. <laughs> yeah.
So if I declare war on your puppet, who is at war with all the allies, I would be go going to war with you, I assume, but how would that work with your allies? Since you're... yeah. How the heck would this work? Dutch East Indies is a puppet of the Netherlands. Yes, fine. Uh, but your puppet is still at war with all the allies. So if I declare war on your puppet, will I only be at war with your puppet? Will I be at war with your puppet and you? Will I be at war with your puppet, you and your allies who are also at war with your puppet? <laughs> there is something strange, very strange going on here. In these, these situations, the puppet should either go free or... I don't know. Or also go with their overlord's peace deal. I don't know. Could be that the civil war is ruining things here, but... It is just really, really, really strange. Don't have any words for it other than that. And you're now allied to Spain, but Spain isn't brought into this. So <laughs> now they're fighting a war with... Oh, good lord. So, what a mess. What a glorious mess. And Belgium is also at war with everybody. <laughs> if this continues, I'll, I'm almost certain that the United States will be at war with the Allies. Just due to how Germany operates. I don't know. Yeah, it's a strange, strange world. I'll put it like that. Oh yeah, and Belgium is of course also at war here, so... <laughs> uh. yeah, I don't even know what to say anymore. It's just... things are getting too strange. Too strange for me. Um. Yeah, fine, we have the bonus, might as well pick it up. The extra naval stuff. Uh, I'm gonna take a break here, and we'll see if we can, what happens next time. Thank you for watching.